Good morning, my name is Sarah Elizabeth and I wanted to create this video because I have spontaneous questions from friends and family and from faithful followers that I call my friends and family also on social media. Uh, they have questions about my spiritual path and about my practices and then I have some that just automatically assume and are confused. And I respect that. I admire that a lot. And I thank you for that because it just inspires me to love myself more. It inspires me to be myself more because it's, in, it's intriguing you to ask questions. I hope my energy is felt through this video because I can say wholeheartedly, whether I have a roof over my head or not, that I am free, that I am abundant, and I am as he who has made me holy, holy lovable. And um, my second intention of creating this video is to help broaden your perspective, okay? Help you just not see it in your own lens, but really I wanna try to paint a picture and wrap it all up for you not to influence you, but to encourage you to go beyond uh, what you have been taught to do, what you've been trained to do. This video is not about me justifying myself or justifying my practices or justifying my teachings to the world. This is not what this is about. Again, I wanna help you understand and I wanna help broaden your perspective and my whole intention is for you to find your inner peace, for you to create the life that you want for yourself and to find that yummy goodness of what helps you get connected with God and helps you flow uh, with creativity and helps you inspire um, and, and help you create and manifest the life that you want for yourself. Um, first off, I don't do labels. I've never, ever, ever done labels. The only time that I have labeled myself is when I have to fill out medical forms, checking off my race, okay? That's in, in my sex. That's the only thing that I label, all right? For the ones that have been following me for a very long time, um, and then up into this moment of my spiritual transformation, um, I've heard the labels of Christian and New Age and all of this stuff. And earlier this year, when I was doing some research on healing something within my body, I came across something that really disturbed my soul. And I questioned everything that I was doing. And God automatically came in through spirit. And then I was like, okay, God, that's not good enough. Like, I need more confirmation. And within an hour, he sent someone to me at the playground. And she doesn't even live here, okay? And the biggest thing that he taught me was... Labels, places, limitations on my true power. And I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about God. God is as expansive. He is infinite. He is explosive. He is beyond. He controls this whole entire planet. Okay? But we don't really get to fully immerse and experience that because... We have labels. And when you label something that is infinite, when you label something, it um, limits the true power of what God can do. Okay? So I don't I don't fall in the words of, of Buddhist, I don't fall in the words of, of New Age. Hell, I didn't even know what New Age was until several people kept asking me about it. 
people were like, are you Christian? Are you this? Are you that? Let me tell you something right here, right now. I am who God needs me to be. There's no label to that. There's no label to that. I am as God needs me to be. Therefore, I'm infinite. Therefore, I am creative. I'm abundant. I'm, I'm what God needs me to be. That's the only label that I follow if I do follow any labels. God is limitless. Therefore, I don't place limits on, on him. Okay, so I am just this being, I am this soul in this body being used and way and you know, whatever. Okay, so that's the thing. When you place labels on an infinite supernatural power, um, you limit yourself. You limit yourself. So at the beginning of this journey, this spiritual transformation. God has taught me a lot through people. And the weird thing is it's he's you know, he's taught me a lot like in in physical encounters and then social media encounters, okay? And at the beginning of this spiritual journey, he brought a person into my path that was expansive and something may have happened and I know what that is, and I'll get to that in a minute and then just shut everything off, okay? And now we're back to religion. And I reached out to that person one day, not knowing, I would, you know, I thought I was following God's voice and say, hey, you know, this is not how you act. You're, this is, you know, I guess from another spiritual sister to another, like, hey, let's pull ourselves together here. And I received so much, um, I didn't receive a lot, but I just felt that pushback. And I'm, it left me confused, and so I was praying about it and meditating about it and trying to search myself for what I did or what has happened. And God used that moment to teach me, if you do not keep me centered, in every single thing that you do, and every single practice that you do, and every single teaching that you do, and everything that you do, if you do not keep me centered, if you take time all and don't pray over it first and infuse it with my power first, keeping it me centered, if you get a crystal and say, oh, this crystal saved my life, then, or um, then, hold on, I lost my train of thought. If you don't keep me centered in this crystal and infuse my power into it and things of that nature, then you're gonna fall astray. You're gonna fall. If I don't keep God centered in absolute every little thing that I do, then yes, then I would be leading to the new age or whatever, 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 whatever. I would have lost my way, okay? You have to keep God centered in absolutely everything that you do, and that's what I did. And so it led me to different teachers and to different paths. And it felt right because I honored God first. I allowed God to teach me first. I allowed God to guide me to where I need to be at, okay? And that was through different teachers and different people and different books and different opportunities. And um, sometimes he's led me to things that I would never do and I know I knew it was not right, but he used those moments to teach me the difference, okay? So one of the most interesting questions that I received was, how can you worship God and not Jesus and you worship these other people and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, how can you say God and then you say the universe and then you say energy and then you, you know, when it's the spirit and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay. And the beautiful thing is they're on the right track. They're on the right track. It's just 
they are consumed with what the world is teaching them and what the Bible says, don't get me wrong, the Bible is great, I, I'm in it, okay? I've studied it front and back. I personally follow the New Testament, okay? Um, I get it, all right? But I studied the Bible so much that it, I could not move beyond. So I had to move beyond that, and that's okay. That's okay as long as you keep God centered and know what feels right. And then it's like, the other side's teaching them like their higher selves that's connected to God, to, that's connected to Source. Um, it's like you, you're. It's like on a teeter totter. If that makes sense. So, I went on a beautiful spiritual journey this year. This is a completely different than what you see on on social media and. It was the time where I met God face to face. Met God face to face. And this was such the most beautiful moment because I remember sitting there and seeing this image and God saying, here I am. And I see this image and I'm, lo I'm looking for a face. I'm looking for features. I'm looking for things. And he says, I'm right here. I am a energy. I'm an energy that is felt. And this energy is where you come from. This energy of God is where everybody comes from people, things, opportunities, all of those things. Everything that we need comes from God in different forms. And so I said, okay, so who's Jesus? <laughs> and he said, Jesus is my son. I sent Jesus to the world to die for your sins so you can seek me. I said, okay, so which one should I be worshiping? Like, what, what am I supposed to do here? And he says, first and foremost, you should worship me as I commanded. And Jesus, he is my son, just like you are my daughter. And with my son, he had a specific task, just like you have a specific task. Jesus was an example of following wholeheartedly my instructions. He was a teacher. He was a healer. He was all of these things that I am. And the difference between you and Jesus and everybody else is that he listened and he followed through and now he's been rewarded. So you need to see Jesus not only as a healer and as a medium, you also need to see Jesus as an example, as a teacher, because that's who you are too. Jesus is created in that same energy, just like I'm created in that same energy, just like you're created in that same energy. Um, energy. We're all miniature Jesuses walking around the world. Okay? We're all miniature Jesuses with a specific task, with a specific mission. But 99.9% .9 of us do not follow the voice of God. 99.9% .9 of us don't follow the mission. And then when we don't follow the mission, it's be and we start to feel miserable, and then we start comparing, and then we start gossiping, and then we start criticizing. And it's all, all of those things is that we're doing to ourselves, therefore it, it, that energy shoots out. God is an energy. I'm created from that energy. Okay. 
So I honor God first and foremost. I honor Jesus second because he is my teacher. He is my teacher. He is my example of what I can do. And I believe that because he's did it. And so that empowers me to do the same thing too. Do we have the same qualities, the same power, the same whatever, the same mission? Absolutely not. That's what makes us different. God, the universe, source, it's all the same thing. It's all the same thing. It's just what you choose to call it. Okay? And you have to you have to open up your mind just a little bit and understand that just because I say universe, yes, I believe in the universe, but I don't always call God the universe because I'm being mindful of who I'm speaking to because there's some prick out there that has tarnished the name of God. So God says, use whatever word that you have to use to draw people near me. I'll do the rest. Spirit, the Holy Spirit is an energy. Everything is an energy that is felt. You can't deny that. You can't deny that. And so... When I speak of healings and energy in the universe and all of those things, I'm not worshiping a different God. I'm worshiping the same God that you worship because there's only one. There's only one with many names. When I speak of Yogi Bhajan and Gabby Bernstein and other spiritual leaders, and teachers out there. I'm not worshiping the ground that they walk on because they're not God. They're an extension of God. They're a tool of God. They're teachers of God. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you, uh, Yogi. Thank you, Muji. Thank you, whoever, for showing me, for allowing God to speak through you to speak to me. So, I practice what I practice because it connects me straight to God. And I had to break certain mindsets, certain teachings. I had to really break away from churches. I had to break away from religions. I had to break away from certain people to find my own. And I kept God centered the whole entire time. And I am so happy. I am so happy. I have been all over the world. I am healed. And I have the power to heal others through God. I Sarah doesn't do it. Sarah doesn't do it. And tr please trust and believe. If you've been my client, if I've worked with you, I'm not looking, I'm not looking for an ego boost. All glory goes to God. I can do what I can do because God gives me the power to do it so you can believe in God yourself. And that's the most beautiful thing. They believe in God. They're, they're like, I felt a supernatural source. And I'm like, well, that's God. That's the universe. So it's been within you this whole entire time because that's who created you and he's given you a piece of him within you. And this is a divine moment for you to wake up and to realize that, you, like Marianne Williamson said, you are powerful beyond measure. Start breaking from everything else and move beyond what you have been taught to stay with and find God on your own. And when you really open up to God or take um, encouragement from other people, and start dwelling and diving into what is meant for you, what that God has intended for you, um, yeah, you'll begin to make a video like this one day, inspiring people to think outside the box, that it's okay 
that we are working with with what we're working with to help us stay on track we get it but we are moving forward prophecies are being fulfilled people are really trying to seek people are really hurting and wanting to expand and they don't know how to do that because that is a sin you can't you can't meditate because that's a sin well it all started back in the bible that jesus sat on the mountain and meditated peace be still so, if you noticed, if you start diving into spiritual teachings, you'll know that God is speaking because it all stems, it all started with the Bible. It all started with the Bible. And then people learn how to tap into God, just like I've learned how to tap into God and channel God for myself and for people that I help. Um, you'll receive the same information. The people that write these books, um, there's a comparison, just in different words, mixed in with a dash of opinions. So, I pray that this video has inspired you and to help you open up um, and answer some questions that you guys may be wondering. And I will see you guys soon. Peace, love, and radical blessings. Satnam.